Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome to Have I Seen You Somewhere Before? A Lookalike Searching for Love. This is another Team Solitude game, but this one was for a, a different game jam. This might still be a visual novel, I'm not actually quite sure. I'm like a week and a half late on this, maybe two weeks, and I apologize for that. Uh, but you know I love me some Team Solitude games, and we're just gonna hop in. Check the preferences, of course. Uh, they're usually all the same. Uh, yeah, that should all be fine. Alright, let's just start up the game. I'm excited to see the artwork and the story and, and all that lovely stuff. It's been a month. And of course, we can just advance the text. A single exact month since you broke up with me. Can I increase the text speed? Uh, text speed, yeah, go a little bit fast. Is that the slow? Hold on. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's the slowest it goes. So let me just go a little bit like that. And from that day, I haven't managed to move on. Is this how people feel when they get left behind? Is this how badly it hurts? I never knew. It's a first for me. That's why tonight I decided to take a walk. And the weather is awful. Just my luck. But I've had enough moping around. I need to get out. And, as I wander through the streets like a lost soul, I found this place. Paradise Bar. Does this count as a good or a bad omen? Oh, they're hosting a speed dating event. It's full of people, too. Some time ago I read a cheesy article with lots of questions to ask during dates, so should I give it a try? Uh, heck yeah! I bet if you click no, the game just ends. <laughs> like, yeah, well, try again next time. Oh yeah, plate with some chips, table 31. This bar is crazy nice, good atmosphere, lots of people. A bit noisy, but I don't mind. And everyone looks like they're enjoying themselves. It gives me lots of good vibes. As I wait at my assigned table with no clue what to do, a young man approaches me. Hi, can I sit here? Are you by yourself? I have no time to even consider an answer that he's sitting already. Why bother asking? Well, yes, I'm alone. I'm not an expert, but with speed dating, aren't you supposed to follow an order? Actually, no. This one is all up to the clients. You can sit at whatever table you want and just talk. As long as both of you are comfortable, of course. And if you're not, just switch. Then why are the tables numbered? I feel like this is going to give me a headache. Whatever, let's just stick to the questions from the article. Hey, wait! Have I seen you somewhere before? That's the name of the game! You kind of remind me of someone. Oh no. Oh, oh no, here we go again. I don't think we've met. But I must have a common face. I've been told this many times. Oh, I'm sorry. That must be annoying, huh? I'm used to it. Don't worry. Anyway. What's your name? Michael. Nice to meet you. And what about you? I'm Lars. And, uh, same. That's a name you don't hear often. Where are you from? Denmark. For real? That's so exotic. What brought you here of all places? Oh, nothing in particular, really. I guess it's just how life goes. So do you have any hobby? Uh, what, oh shoot, there's a timer! Do you have any hobbies? Oh yes! I often knit in my free time. I really- Oh, he's got, like, knitting equipment in his back pocket. I really enjoy it a lot. Knit? That really isn't usual nowadays. It is! But you know, my parents taught me, and I've been doing it ever since. But, I must say, it's kind of an expensive hobby. I work with extremely rare materials, you know? Only the best in town. Oh, that sounds like you're very passionate about it. I absolutely am! Maybe I'll show them to you. Depends on how the night goes. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do in the whole world? I'm a dog lover. Do you have any pets? Yeah, I don't really want to talk about dogs. Nothing against dogs. It's just more interesting to talk about. Favorite place in the whole world? I'd say my basement. It's where I knit, you know. It's such a cozy place. The walls are covered with my works. Okay. <laughs> Little sus because I don't think thread is that expensive. Granted, he's got like thread in his back pocket. Um, but when he says he pins with the expensive materials and like, you know, he knits in his basement, a li little suspicious. I'm so, so proud of them. I already want to show them to you, but unfortunately I don't have any photos, but if you want, I could show them to you. IRL. Sure, I guess. Changing the subject, there's something I'm curious to ask. You know, family is important to me. I've always had a challenging relationship with both of my parents, but you know, family's family, right? That connection won't ever be severed, no matter what you do. So, what's your family like? Would they question if you went missing? <laughs> oh my god. We don't get along very well. A normal, ordinary family. Um, I just clicked one. I'm sorry, I didn't even- I was thinking about it, and the timer was going, so I just clicked the one I was on. An ordinary, normal family. It's nice, but I imagine it could be... boring? Oh. Sometimes it leaves- sorry, that was Michael talking. Boring? Yes. All is normal. Ordinary. Everything just goes on as expected. Isn't it boring? Uh, not really. Well... For me it is. I see. Yeah. Listen, I have a request for you. Should I be worried? 
No, not at all. It's quite normal. I love hearing about other people's stories. Do you have a good one to tell? Heck yeah, dude. A uh, famous actor looks like I asked for a photograph. Let's talk about that. Um, so I guess I looked like someone and they asked me for an autograph. Please tell me more. So I was at this event held by a friend of mine. It was a nice evening and the venue was full of people. I was talking to some friends when a man approached me out of the blue. I turned around and, well, there he is. Same face, similar clothes, but totally different attitude. He smiled at me and asked if I could have my autograph. I was a little taken aback, so I just signed my name on his notebook without saying anything. He smiled at me, said bye, and I never saw him again. Such a bizarre experience. Whoa, right? Amazing. Yes. Totally unbelievable. It does seem so, doesn't it? You're really something. Okay, now for the final question. And be careful, because it's essential. So, are you a morning person or a night owl? This is a very difficult question for me personally. I tend to stay up kind of late at night these days. Um, just a couple of things I gotta get done every night. And um, I do wake up early in the morning too, just because my house is loud. So, but Michael, Michael seems like a morning person to me. He, uh, he has to get up early for work. Oh, that's unfortunate, but oh, oh. Yep, being responsible is terrible. Well, Lars, let me just say that you're an amazing man. Attractive, intelligent, interesting. So, why don't you come to my house and, I don't know, take a look at my knitting skills? Is that a euphemism? Well, you'll just have to see for yourself. I still think he's kind of a... I don't think he's a murderer, but that would be incredibly... I knew it. It's cows, but not, not people, but I still knew it. So, here, here it is. My dear basement, what do you think about it? Uh, you like it so much that you're speechless, huh? Is that human skin? Oh my god, it is! I called it! <laughs> I knew it! I haven't played this game before, I swear. <laughs> okay, deep breaths, calm down. Everything's fine. There's no need to worry. Maybe the alcohol's gone to my head. Everything's fine. Oh my god. There is no chance. A strangely abrupt ending. Weird. What do you say? Have you enjoyed your date? Get me out of here. <laughs> That's crazy! I can't believe I called that. That's so cool. Well, on my own once more. Oh, here's someone. Oh, she looks very prim and proper. Hello, dear. Can I sit here? Just... Why does everyone sit before asking? Hi, I'm Lars. Nice to meet you. Lars. Like his brother? Are you actually his brother? No, wait. You look exactly like him. Are you? Nope. I don't have- I don't have any brothers. And I don't know who you're talking about. Sorry. Sure. What's your name? Skylar. Miss Skylar. Um, nice to meet you. You already said that. But it's a pleasure for me too. Before we begin though, what is your favorite cocktail? A vital question, my dear. I got like strong extra musical for white wine. I could drink Bloody Mary all night long. White wine seems sophisticated and she seems like a sophisticated person. I knew you were an elegant one. What'd I say? I like sophisticated men. Oh yes, me too. No, wait. I meant... And shy too. A very fine prey. What did she say? The thanks. Guess you don't have one. But an answer would be have been appreciated. So, uh... You read any good books lately? Absolutely! You should definitely dive into Chinese literature if you haven't. It's just marvelous. As the manager of a renowned publishing house, reading is essential. And Chinese literature is where the future of literature is. Have you ever read something by... Uh... Uh... I'm, I'm in a class about Chinese art, and I know how to pronounce that last part is, is Zhang. I don't know the first one, though. Xing Zhang, maybe? Yes, a long time ago. I worked with books, too. I'm a novelist. Really? Oh, pardon me. Really? That sounds quite interesting. Elegant, good-looking, and certainly a famous novelist. Well, I'm not really fa- Come on now, don't be shy. I can tell just by looking at your face. Y yes So, what is it that you write about? Most biographies must seem boring, fantasy, horror, whatever I feel like. We're Stephen King. Hmm. Really? Yes, why? Oh, nothing, dear. I'm just wondering if those still sell. Well, there are a lot of writers, but I know, I know, don't worry. Your life will get better someday. I'm pretty happy about my life. Oh, are you? So tell me, do you earn much with your job? Um, it's good pay. I inherited a fair amount. Interesting. I could tell just by looking at you. I have great intuition. So, do you like working out? All right. So if the first one was like a weird human, uh, knit man, 
Is she like a Black Widow maybe? Is that her deal? She's wearing all white, which is like the opposite of black. Maybe that's what they're going for. So do you like working out? Uh, well, no, I'm not busy with my books. What a pity. A great, great pity. I'm sorry. Yes, of course you are. You know, Lars, I was thinking, what if we get out from here and get to know each other more intimately? Y yes of course. Great, let's go then. How are we gonna die this time? If not getting chopped up? What? When she told me we'd get to know each other intimately, I didn't exactly envision this. Uh... Seems like a nice party. As I was saying, in my line of work, I get to meet a lot of rich people. And that's not all. Look here, look at the numbers. Aren't they crazy? Look at how many zeros I managed to collect through the years. Amazing, right? Can your brain even conceive all of them? It can't, right? But I know that some may think I'm obsessed with money. That I'm just one of those women who are obsessed with dollar bills. And what if that's true? What if my independence is proportional to the money I have? And the more I have, the more I'm free to do what I want. That's the only law our world follows. And that's why I like capitalism. So that we can be independent and free together. Right, dear? Everything's fine. That one wasn't so bad. I think, you know... Functional, a strangely abrupt ending. Weird. What'd you say? Have you enjoyed your date? Money equals dependency. Independency. That's pretty funny. Money is independency. Oh, shoot! I didn't mean for the game to end. Uh, shoot. That's odd. Um, I'll be right back. All right, we're back here. I'm gonna say maybe give someone else a try so I can keep the game going. I didn't want to actually end there. I was just, you know, picking an option. I wonder who'll be the next to sit without asking. Hello, how are you doing? I saw many people passing by your table hot stuff. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll have lots of fun for sure. I'll start by saying something about me. I'm very interested in mysticism. Isn't that incredibly mysterious by itself? I can't say that it isn't. Of course it is. So what's your name? Lars and yours? I'm Diane. You have a lovely name. Let's get to know each other better. I was honestly going to make a joke about the zodiac signs. <laughs> as soon as she sat down, she's like, I'm a mysticist. I'm like, oh, what's your zodiac sign? And now she said it. What's your zodiac sign? Uh, I'm a Libra, and you? Really? I'm a Gemini. Oh, we're super compatible, you know that? I've been waiting for a moment like this my whole night. It's so great when you meet someone who's compatible with you, right? Absolutely. Anyway, tell me. What's your fondest memory you have? Have you listened to any cool- What's your fondest memory? Oh, wait, there's so many. Ah, I panic. No rush, don't worry. Well, we have all the time we want. Yes, you're right. And the night is still young. So, um, I'll tell you about my first speed date then. I met this girl, and she was a Libra too. So we decided to hang out and all, but... Well, my memory is kind of bad, so I don't remember what happened exactly. But she wasn't as nice as I thought she was. So our relationship ended pretty quickly. And is that your fondest memory? One of them, yeah. It shows how time flows even without us. And how quickly we may change ideas about the people around us. And eventually lose them. But also, I'm fond of every memory I forget. Because they're important to remember. I guess it makes sense, in a way. I'm a little moved. So... Have you seen any good movies lately? What's your favorite place in the whole world? Oh, definitely India. Cool, you've been there? What do you love about it? Oh, I could talk about this for hours. I've never been there, but to me it's not the it's not only the motherland of mysticism, I often wonder what life is like for the people there. I'm also curious about other countries, but India feels to me like an infinite space filled with many tiny speckles. You turn in one direction to see wealth and temples and technology all around you. Then you look a bit more and you'll find poverty and desperation, strength and bonds. People all around meditate and see and laugh at what it is, an infinite flow of energy towards each other. And then, then there's nature, infinite and mysterious. I'm speechless. Ah oh, yes, I feel like this when contemplating. Oh hey, I've thought of a question. Do you like tattoos? Uh, I have one, well, it's a pretty private place. I don't think I'd stand to have something on skin for my life. Oh, I guess it can look like that to some. But you know, there's a philosophy behind it too. You should consider that. I know, but they're not really for me. Hmm, whatever. Okay, one last question to determine how tonight will end. You ready? Sure. What actor would play you in the movie of your life? I'd like to be Mads Mikkelsen, that's a weird question. I'm gonna go for the one that's an actual person. <laughs> Let's put up a picture of Mads Mikkelsen so we know who we're actually talking about. You guys can see it and I obviously can't. Oh, Shiva, that's so cool. And you look a lot like him. Yeah, many people told me so. I'm dating a Mads Mikkelsen lookalike. Huh? So, as I thought, our chakras are flowing together. So I was wondering, what if we move somewhere else? Somewhere more quiet? 
Is she gonna live in like a temple or something? Crystals like everywhere. That's about what I predicted. <laughs> Candles. Okay, let's make things clear now. You're handsome. You look like my favorite color, but you're just not invested enough in my way of living. So here's a list of things you must do. First of all, stop practicing yoga seriously. Second, read these books I have here. Third, everything's fine. Really, just what happened to the girl from before? Interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and reject this one as well. A strangely abrupt ending. Weird. What do you say? Have you enjoyed your date? Uh, no. Back to the table, please. I'm getting anxious here. I wonder if it was a good idea to take part in this. Oh my, Mads Mickelson here. Is this in my lucky night? No, actually, I'm not. Sorry, my name is Lars. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, Lars. Are you here by yourself? Unfortunately. I can't decide her accent. The other one was Southern. I have to pick a different one for this one. Oh, you poor thing. I imagine you want some company. Sure. So what's your name? Anne. Nice to meet you. After the last date, I feel like an old-fashioned man. What kind of person are you? Old-fashioned? I'd love to be old-fashioned, but there's so many things to do. Would you like me to give you some tips? Uh, of course. But I don't really know what there is to tell. Well, obviously there's music taste, dress code, posture, things like that. I'm sure you would know if you were truly old-fashioned. Oh, well. Okay, this guy does not have good posture. Look at that slouch. It's not exactly what I meant, but I'm sure I could think of it or something. Actually, in that aforementioned uh, class about Chinese art, um, we were analyzing statues of, of, of the Buddha. And um, Buddha had a, a slouch in his back. It was more straight here, and then it would bend a little bit. And that was um, good posture, but the Buddha was leaning in to the viewer, or the, the person looking at the statue to show like interest and, and stuff like that. So maybe that's what's going on here. Look at me using art history in the real world, I say as I make YouTube videos. That's the real world to me. It's not exactly what I meant, but I'm sure I could think of something. It's fantastic. You know, I'm a gardener, so I wonder if you have any plants at home. I'm quite busy, I'm afraid I'm just not the plant type. I'd like to, but I'm afraid I would end up killing them. Oh, don't you worry about that. I could definitely help you. I have a vast knowledge of anything plant related. Really? You would? It would be a pleasure. What's a typical weekend like for you? Do you go to the cinema? Let's ask about a typical weekend. Not very interesting. I just work and tend to my plants. You know, it's important to keep your life balanced and give time to things that deserve it. And working is one of those things. I have some people wondering about nothing, wandering about with nothing to do. And I think to myself, that is such a waste even though working is really tiring. I know what you mean. It's really difficult to go on and stay motivated at times. No, it's not. I love my job, so I'm happy. Oh, well, yes, it's terrible unless you love your job. Of course. What kind of music do you listen to, plant lady? Well, prepare for a long list. Oh no. I can start with a tribe called Quest, as they help define modern hip hop and the concept of sampling. And then, well, also Swans, whose dark and obscure style influenced what I meant to ask about is your favorite genre. Giorgio Murado, too. He revolutionized, if not created, electronic music back in his days. Can you believe he's Italian? Incredible. I think this team, the team is based in Milan, Italy. <laughs> so that's why they had the I can't believe he's Italian thing. Incredible. Yes, it's incredible. That's just a curiosity, but what are you most likely to stay up all night talking about? That is a really, really good question. What? If I were to stay up all night talk, well, I'd probably be playing video games, but if I were to talk about something probably either be video games or it'd probably be video games <laughs> uh well i'm not one for talking i guess i could lose myself explaining the stories i write that's great oh life aspirations i could talk about that all night that's super interesting you know i really appreciate people with artistic tendencies they're often so sad as if they are sustaining the whole world on their shoulders and yet there are people who insult them in their work or it takes a lot of time for them to be noticed they always seem so alone even when they're not as if they're looking for something i think you're absolutely right. Is it like that for you too? Sometimes, yes. Is there something wrong? Not at all. Actually, it's the contrary. Are you even real? I mean, you're totally my type, and I have an offer for you. Would you like to see my private garden? Uh, yes. Shoot, this one's pretty good. If I had to pick one so far, I'd pick this one, but I'm gonna reject her anyway so that I can, uh, see the rest of the game. As everyone knows, this plant needs a lot of water and sunlight. That's why I have to take it outside every morning and put it back in the garden during evenings. This one, however, Everything's fine, but my head, geez. So in like, if I were this guy, I would totally just chill here. Strangely abrupt ending, weird. What do you say, have you enjoyed your date? I'm gonna move back uh, just because I wanna see more of the game. 
I'm starting to wonder, has everyone read the same article I read? Because y'all make the same kind of questions. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if any of these people are even real. This guy looks like he's got a story. Hello there, man. Is this seat occupied? I need to sit down, you know. It's not. Go on. Even if you already did. I could go for a beer. What about you? Um, absolutely. I prefer wine, sorry. Uh, we'll play the game. Who is this guy? Heck it! Let's go then! Oh, heck it! Let's go then! Y yeah let's go! Is this your first time? What happened to your eye? What happened to your eye? Oh. Just a hecker on the street. This guy is... crazy. Man, I always find people like that. Can you believe it? The world really hates me. That sure is bad. Yeah, right? It's as if the entire world's become full of... Uh, bad people. <laughs> oh my gosh. You meet hackers everywhere. On the streets, at work, and even when you go to the library. An idiot threw me out yesterday. Can you believe it? Freaking incredible. Now one can even smoke while reading a book in the library. Well, I think it's against their- Yeah, unbelievable, right? It's the same thing I told him. Anyway... I don't think I introduced myself, so I'm Lars. Nice to meet you. Yeah, right. I'm Johnny. Not that that does matter much. Why? Are enemies important for one night stands? I don't know. Hmm, maybe they are. Who knows what could happen? Yes. And what do you do for a living? Probably nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez. <laughs> nothing. Not now at least. My old boss, that idiot, sued me. Not a great memory. Oh, sorry about that. Don't worry, I'll just hold a grudge forever because of this question. Uh, huh? Now tell me, dear- oh, now tell me, dear Larzy, what's your job? I swear nobody ever called me that. Larzy? Is he on drugs for real or what? Uh, I'm just gonna be like, it's just don't talk about it. It's not much. Loser like me? Great. Not my favorite for a date, but oh well, who gives a dang? At least we have beer. L loser? Okay, now for a totally different question. If you could choose a superpower, what would it be? Haven't I heard this question before? So we really all read from the same article about speed dates. Uh, flying. Flying is the top tier power. Flying? Come on, that's boring, man. Oh, sorry, I'm just spitting the truth here. So I actually agree, that is a very boring answer. Which is why when I pose that question, I always say, if you could have one non-traditional superpower, what would it be? So that's like no invincibility, no invisibility, no flying, no speed, no strength, none of that. And that gets people kind of thinking a little bit more. And my answer to that is the ability to um, walk on air. And that's kind of like flying, but not really because you're not going fast. You can just walk into the air. Um, but I think it'd be great. You could like always have a chair anywhere you want. Just sit in the air. Be great. So I'm just been the truth here. Listen, man, I love you, man, okay? I really do. But let's say that I prefer my beer as of now, okay? You're cute, but I'd rather get hit in the eye. What? The other one? And yet he has still stayed here for a while. We drank in silence, awkwardly. I don't think I'll ever do this again. Understandable. Have a great day. What a horrible night. Working, walking in the rain was a bad idea. Getting to the bar was even worse. What a waste of time. I'm tired of love. And as if all that isn't enough, I've also lost my hat somewhere. It's right there. What a horrible night. Life is really unfair sometimes. Rats. Well... I'm sure that somewhere along the road, the intention for the game was for you to pick someone. And I would have picked Anne. So, um, you know, from accidentally picking the capitalist lady, <laughs> um, I was able to see that um, it kind of just cuts to the credits there. But in, in my head, that's what I end up with. Bravo to Team Solitude, by the way, as always. Excellent game, excellent experience, uh, very fun per the norm, which is something I appreciate. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. Thank you for making the game. All right, I am curious about one thing and, and I kind of want to see what happens if you, oh, thank you Mads. Yay, Mads. Um, I want to see what happens if you pick the option not to go in the bar. So we're just going to play through really quickly. Um, Yep, we're just going to go through the title screen, we're going to start it. And then I'm just going to basically skip through all this first part. And I'm going to say no, I don't want to give it a try. Oh, it just cuts to the end. What a horrible night. Yeah, okay. It just cuts to the end. Okay, makes sense. Right, well, in that case, I'm going to let the credits roll a second time. And I think that is going to be it for my playthrough of Have I Seen You Somewhere Before? 
A uh, very good Team Solitude game. I hope they place well in their game jam. If it's a contest, it might just be a, like, create something. I don't know if it's necessarily a contest. Uh, but whatever it is, I want to thank them for creating it. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me. You my videos around. I have a whole playlist linked in the description to all of the other Team Solitude games that I've played so far. They are working on a new one, so there is another one coming soon enough. Uh, but I'll catch you guys all back here in the next video. Until then, as always, take care.